Welcome to another episode of my f***ing Stiga keeps breaking down on me. Constantly. Never ending. It's not her fault. I decided that she's a girl. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't because that gives out the vibe that I'm a misogynist. Let's say it's a guy then. Yeah, okay. But now I'm all... Well, it's the guy's world and the girls can't do their real hard work. Welcome to another episode of I'm a f***ing douchebag. And I bought an old machine that keeps f***ing breaking up on me. It's a machine. That's what it is. Beautiful yellow machine that keeps breaking up. Technically, this is okay. It's just the mechanical adjustments that I have made. Yeah, it doesn't really enjoy those larger wheels. Normally the older type of wheels they would have just rolled and it wouldn't have broken down. But these wheels they have some grip so they don't just roll they actually just shove, it, shove this forward. And because I haven't really done my job properly because I didn't have the exact measures or the exact materials there's little wiggle room so it keeps breaking down the bolts on the wheels. Uh, I'm trying now with even harder bolts. And these beasties are a bit longer because I noticed that it keeps breaking down on these where there are these uh, screwing screws, screw? screws, 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 these things, threads, maybe, maybe I'm gonna call them threads now. You can tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I'm going to call them threads now. It keeps breaking down on these threads, uh, but this bolt is longer, so the breaking part is somewhere around here. And now it's just the strong piece right there, all the way. And if this doesn't work, then I'll need to figure out something else entirely. If anybody has any ideas of your viewers, what should I do, except welding that piece of junk in. Give me some advice, some tips. This ought to make my job a bit easier. And whenever you're lifting machines, make sure to lift from the steel frame so you don't break anything. This doesn't work. It just starts going. Well, I'll just get a new one then. God damn it. And as you can see, this is in a bit difficult spot. I'm gonna ride this to a more level ground and I'm gonna fix the other wheel there. Here is how you should always keep your tools in a huge damn mess so that when you need something specific you wouldn't find it easily and if if ever you can just try and get as much dirt and you know wood chips and all that on there here's another good example just try and leave some specific tools out so then when you need that specific tool and you have all the set in one place but one tool in some other place then it's just lovely so now i'll just have to find the hole turn it until there we go now let's just try and wiggle it in almost almost through you want to be using these bolts that have these locking threads because 
this is in such a place that it will fall off if it's not locked in properly. I suppose it's 13. It could work. At least for now it is working. Whenever you are working your machines outside, what you want to do is you'll, you'll want to wait for the rainy day. And then you shouldn't wear any uh, protective clothing. Yeah, I need another one. And here's a beautiful tool made in USSR. When you think about it, this tool has to be pretty old. I'm pretty sure this has been bought in the same era as those tractors in the 60s and 70s. And there's barely any rust in it. If anything, it, it is actually rusting the rain. The rain does not rust this wrench. And then start hocking the tire like so and figure that this doesn't work as well. What I should do is I should take the entire tire out. That would make my job here easier. But that would mean taking off four bolts instead of just putting in one bolt that's almost already there. Now I just have to figure out that I don't actually loosen it up when I need to be tightening it up. There we go. F f it's getting there. The process is slow but painful. Yeah, okay, now I found just, yeah. Okay, that should hold. I'm always complaining that I don't have enough time. But I think I do have enough time. I just use it poorly. Okay, let's fuel this. There you go. Sometimes my brain makes a fart. God! <laughs> As I said. There you go. Oh, it's and it overflew. I thought that. Oh no. Well, we got ourselves a new project. Maybe changing some grass here, some ground. Oh. Just too damn enthusiastic about these things. Okay, just a quick look at the oil level. It's in the correct place. There's, it's just in the middle. The start fell off last time. So it's here, hidden. I'll have a go. Ha, ha, ha. 